Patrick Administrator Interview Questions and Answers Do you difficult for a network administrator to stay so much in front of the computer? When a person decides to become a network administrator, he or she must be aware that physical effort will not take part of the job and even if it is, in rare occasions, it is minimal. The work of a network administrator resumes to doing different tasks on the computer and giving phone calls for support. In rare occasions he may act as a system administrator but this is due to urgency. Explain about encryption, encoding, hashing and obfuscation. Encoding, encoding is for maintaining data usability and can be reversed by employing the same algorithm that encoded the content that is no key is used. Encryption Encryption is for maintaining data confidentiality and requires the use of a key, kept secret, in order to return to plain text. Hashing Hashing is for validating the integrity of content by detecting all modification thereof via obvious changes to the hash output. Obfuscation Obfuscation is used to prevent people from understanding the meaning of something and is often used with computer code to help prevent successful reverse engineering and or theft of a product's functionality. What are the differences between local, global and universal groups? A domain local group is a security or distribution group that can contain universal groups, global groups, other domain local groups from its own domain, and accounts from any domain in the forest. You can give domain local security groups rights and permissions on resources that reside only in the same domain where the domain local group is located. A global group is a group that can be used in its own domain, in member servers and in workstations of the domain, and in trusting domains. In all those locations, you can give a global group rights and permissions and the global group can become a member of local groups. However, a global group can contain user accounts that are only from its own domain. A universal group is a security or distribution group that contains users, groups, and computers from any domain in its forest as members. You can give universal security groups rights and permissions on resources in any domain in the forest. Universal groups are not supported. What does it mean when you receive an NTFS error? 5. Error 5 is very common when dealing with files and directories that have very specific permissions. When trying to copy elements from areas that have restricted permissions, or when trying to copy files to an area that has restricted permissions, you may get this error which basically means access denied. Checking out permissions, making sure that you have the appropriate permissions to both the source and destination locations, and making yourself the owner of those files can help to resolve this issue. Just remember that if you are not intended to be able to view these files to return the permissions back to normal once you are finished. What is the difference between multimode and single mode fiber? Multimode fiber has a relatively large light carrying core, usually 62.5 microns or larger in diameter. It is usually used for short distance transmissions with LED based fiber optic equipment. Single mode fiber has a small light carrying core of 8 to 10 microns in diameter. It is normally used for long distance transmissions with laser diode based fiber optic transmission equipment. How do I know what type of fiber I need? This is based on transmission distance to be covered as well as the overall budget allowed. If the distance is less than a couple of miles, multimode fiber will work well in transmission system costs, transmitter and receiver will be in the $500 to $800 range. If the distance to be covered is more than 3-5 miles, single mode fiber is the choice. Transmission systems designed for use with this fiber will typically cost more than $1,000, due to the increased cost of the laser diode. What is slash etc slash PASD? Slash etc slash PASD is the primary file in Unix. Linux operating system that stores information about user accounts and can be read by all users. Slash etc slash shadow many times is used by the operating system instead due to security concerns and increased hashing capabilities. Slash etc slash shadow more often than not is highly restricted to privileged users. What is the difference between a hub and a switch? A hub is a networking device that allows one to connect multiple PCs to a single network. Hubs may be based on Ethernet, 
firewire, or USB connections. A switch is a control unit that turns the flow of electricity on or off in a circuit. It may also be used to route information patterns and streaming electronic data sent over networks. In the context of a network, a switch is a computer networking device that connects network segments. What is FTP and what port does it use? FTP or File Transfer Protocol is one of the big legacy protocols that probably should be retired. FTP is primarily designed for large file transfers, with the capability of resuming downloads if they are interrupted. Access to an FTP server can be accomplished using two different techniques, anonymous access and standard login. Both of these are basically the same, except anonymous access does not require an active user login while a standard login does. Here's where the big problem with FTP lies however the credentials of the user are transmitted in clear text which means that anybody listening on the wire could sniff the credentials extremely easily. Two competing implementations of FTP that take care of this issue are SFTP, FTP over SSH, and FTPS, FTP with SSL. FTP uses TCP ports 20 and 21. What is HTTP? HTTP Hypertext Transfer Protocol is the set of rules for transferring files, text, graphic images, sound, video, and other multimedia files on the World Wide Web. As soon as a web user opens their web browser, the user is indirectly making use of HTTP. HTTP is an application protocol that runs on top of the TCP IP suite of protocols, the foundation protocols for the Internet. What is TCP IP? Transmission Control Protocol, Internet Protocol, TCP IP, is the language a computer uses to access the Internet. It consists of a suite of protocols designed to establish a network of networks to provide a host with access to the Internet. TCP IP is responsible for full fledged data connectivity and transmitting the data end to end by providing other functions, including addressing, mapping, and acknowledgement. TCP IP contains four layers, which differ slightly from the ASA model. What is DNS? Domain Name System or Domain Name Service A DNS is an internet or network server that helps to point domain names or host names to their associated internet protocol address and was introduced by Paul Mockapatris and John Postel in 1983. Without a DNS to resolve a domain name or the proper rights, Users would have to know the IP address of each of the web pages or computers you wanted to access. What is IPX? Internet Packet Ease Gange, Sequential Packet Ease Gange, IPX slash SPX is a local area network communications protocol developed by Novell. It exchanges information between network clients, applications, and network peripherals. What is ICMP? Internet Control Message Protocol. ICMP is an extension to the Internet Protocol defined by RFC 792 and an error reporting protocol for TCP IP messages. Most users are familiar with ICMP from using the ping command. ICMP is used by computers and by all types of network devices, including network routers, which help identify problems and communicate the status of devices on the network. The ICMP message contains a type, code and check some message that help identify a device's response. What is Apple Talk? Apple Talk is a protocol developed by Apple to handle networking with little to no configuration, you may be sensing a pattern here. It reached its peak in the late 80s and early 90s, but there are still some devices that utilize this protocol. Most of its core technology has been moved over to Bonjour, while UpNP, Universal Plug and Play has picked up on its ideology and moved that concept forward across many different hardware and software packages. What is Bonjour? Bonjour is one of the programs that come bundled with nearly every piece of Apple software, most notably iTunes, that handles a lot of its automatic discovery techniques. Best described as a hybrid of IPX and DNS, Bonjour discovers broadcasting objects on the network by using MDNS multicast DNS, with little to no configuration required. Many admins will deliberately disable this service in a corporate environment due to potential security issues, 
However in a home environment it can be left up to the user to decide if the risk is worth the convenience. What is Proxy Server? A proxy is a computer server or software program that is part of the gateway server or another computer that separates a local network from outside networks. A proxy server will cache all pages accessed through the network allowing users who may want to visit that same page to load it faster and reduce the network's bandwidth. When a page is accessed that is not in the proxy server's cache, the proxy server accesses the page using its own IP address, caches the page, and forwards it to the user. What are 127.0.0.1 and locale OST? Being able to ping out to a server and see if it's responding is a great way to troubleshoot connectivity issues. But what if you are not able to ping any server? Does that mean that your entire network is down? Does it mean that your network cable needs to be replaced? Does it mean that your network card is going bad? Or could it possibly be that sunspots, magnets, aliens and the men in black are all conspiring against you? The answers to these questions could be very difficult but at the very least you can rule out if your network card is going bad. 127.0.0.1 is the loopback connection on your network interface card, and I see, pinging this address will see if it is responding. If the ping is successful, then the hardware is good. If it isn't, then you might have some maintenance in your future. 127.0.0.1 and localost mean the same thing as far as most functions are concerned. However be careful when using them in situations like web programming as browsers can treat them very differently. What is two-factor authentication? Two-factor authentication, TUFA, is a technique used to increase the level of security by adding an additional step or component to the user verification process. Essentially, it requires the user to undergo two successfully authentications before access is granted. Each of the required modes of authentication is usually one of the following. Something the user knows. Something the user physically holds. Something inseparable from the user's body. How can we explain the following terms, gateway and router? A gateway is like a door that opens for a data package to exit the interior network and step outside the network. The router handles the transportation of data packages over the interior network. What is the way in which the asynchronous transfer mode works? The asynchronous transfer mode or ATM is a connection technology that works by transmitting data into organized 53 bytes, small, packages through a physical environment with a high efficiency. Packing data into small cells reduces transportation delay so the speeds reached by this technology are very high, it can reach even 10 gigabits per second. What is PDU? A protocol data unit, PDU, is an open system interconnection, OSI, term used in telecommunications that refers to a group of information added or removed by a layer of the ASA model. Each layer in the model uses the PDU to communicate and exchange information, which can only be read by the peer layer on the receiving device and is then handed over to next upper layer after stripping. What is RARP? Reverse Address Resolution Protocol RARP is originally defined in RFC 903 and performs the reverse steps of ARP. RARP uses the hardware address to determine the device's IP address. What is ARP? Address Resolution Protocol ARP is a used with the IP for mapping a 32-bit Internet Protocol address to a MAC address that is recognized in the local network specified in RFC 826. Once recognized, the server or networking device returns a response containing the required address. Which are the tools you carry usually for troubleshooting? A generic question from the interviewer that wants to verify if the flow of the answer remains the same no matter what question is asked, so the details of the answer are not the ones that really count here. The gear of a network admin must include CD-ROMs, technical support links, network analyzers, server log files, telephone numbers, readme files and so on. Subscriptions to certain support companies are important to be declared. What is the meaning of FTP and TFTP application layer protocols? FTP or file transfer protocol is the process file transfer between hosts and it's provided by the TCP IP. 
two connections are made that are secure over the TCP, one for file copying and one for information control. These connections are also called virtual circuits. TFTP or the Trivial Transfer Protocol is using UDP to transfer file from a remote host to a local host but without the advantages of security and reliability. Subscribe to our channel, Interview Gig. Visit our website for more articles and interview questions and answers. www.interviewgig.com Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.